Hey everybody, what's up? Lova SP Tutorials here, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this cool starburst effect. Yeah! That was lame. Yeah. Anyway, guys, so in this tutorial, I'm just going to be teaching you how to make this cool little starburst. Can you please stop singing? Thank you. That was disgusting. Okay, let's. Yeah. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make that cool little effect the, the little starburst thing yeah yeah starburst yeah sure anyway guys so let's start this tutorial because um i want to start it anyway so first open up photoshop yeah photoshop yeah anyway now open a new project by pressing control n or new if you're gonna make it a really nice starburst effect Try doing it in a HD resolution 1920 by 1080. Um, width is 1920, height is 1080. Resolution, put it at 72, and make the background transparent. Now let's start. Let's press on OK. All right. What you're going to want to do? Go onto your little gradient tool here that you have. Now press up there. Yeah, and. You need to select foreground to background. It's probably going to be black and white for your white or black or whatever. Um, what you need to do, you need to press right here. Pick a light color. I already have mine picked. And go right here and pick a dark color. A darker color. Yeah. Anyway. So then you just press on OK. It's selected. Now hold down Shift. And like just go down with your mouse. Just scroll down with your left click and scroll down okay and that's as easy as I'm going to make it now you have this little gradient here what you're want go what you're going <laughs> sorry about that what you're going to want to do is press on filter and then press on distort and then after pressing that press on wave cuz wave is cool cuz waves are yeah waves are yeah ah oh, crap i press on twirl All right now distort wave Okay, so pretty much copy everything that I have right here because these are pretty much the perfect settings. Uh, media ge uh, number of generators should be 299 if you want to, you know, really precise. Wavelength, keep it at 65 minimum and maximum. And for amplitude, 132 for both them. And don't do anything to your scale because it's going to be at 100% for both horizontal and vertical. But um, if that's changed, then just change it up. Keep the type at sign and repeat edge pixels. Now let's press on OK. Whoa, now we have this cool stripe effect. Yeah. Five stars for... Or, I forgot. YouTube doesn't have five stars anymore. Now it's like like and dislike. So like this if you like stripes. Yeah? No? I don't know. Anyway, guys, so um, you're going to want to press on distort again. Yeah, go up to filter and then distort once again. Now you're going to want to press here to polar coordinates. Okay, now you got a little cool little starburst effect. Don't touch anything here, guys. Just press on OK. You could mess around with it later. I'll be showing you that a little bit, um, but just press on OK. There, yay! Yay, now we have a cool starburst effect. Um, so yeah, now that we have a starburst effect, I'm going to undo this and leave it back at the stripes again. Sorry, guys, sorry for the background noise. Um, my sister is, my sister is doing something. I have, she is like turning water on and off and yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, guys, um, so... I'm going to go back to polar coordinates and I'm going to like put it up like right there. Now let's see what happens. Nothing happens. See that you really don't want to mess around with that. So um if you, if you're like good at f using Photoshop and you know what you're doing, go ahead and mess around with it, why not? Now that's what we got. Um <laughs> looks pretty cool, but you know not to be messed with, guys, if you don't want to screw up your starburst effect. Anyway, guys, um, so um, now what you're going to want to do, if you got want to make this, like, really nice, what I like doing usually on my starburst effects, or any kind of graphic design usually, I 
like to put a nice little plastic wrap effect. Um, what you got to do is go into filter and then go into artistic, not distort, but artistic. And you need to press on plastic wrap. Now it gives you a little preview right here. Just press on OK. Actually, you know what? Don't press on OK yet. Yet. Gives a little preview. Now, if you're not satisfied with what you're getting here, you can bring it up right in this panel right here. Okay? Or bring it down, bring it up. I like to keep it at like 16 or 15. Detail. Let's go to about 10 and press on OK. Now it gives it a really shiny, like, plastic wrap effect. So I really like that in my Starburst effects. It makes it look really clean, sharp, and nice. Um, yeah. But if you don't like doing that, you can just keep the normal one. Starburst effects are commonly used during... What, you, what am I saying during? Yeah, Starburst effects are commonly used for YouTube thumbnails if you are a partner. I am not a partner yet, so I'm planning on doing that soon, hopefully, if you guys help me out. Um, that's pretty much all, guys. You can put a lot more effects on it, like sketch effects, yeah, stuff like that. But that's pretty much it for my tutorial, guys, and um, I was reading the comments in my last video, my bad breath detector video, so I know... I, I obviously know that it's um, it's a fake it's a fake app like it doesn't you know work I guess to detect your breath because the iPhone can't do that guys so thank you for all the hate comments I appreciate that you're doing that um, I just wanted to say um, that the bath bad breath detector thing it doesn't actually work it's just a little joke guys for all those comments, all those hate comments, I want to thank you guys for them because now I really know what you guys think of me. So thank you for that. Um, hopefully you guys can give me more advice to make these tutorials better. So now I want to just be rambling on with those stupid little starbursts right here. That's pretty much it guys. Um, for this tutorial, one more thing, one little announcement. I have started a new channel. It's like a little skit channel. My friend and I do. Um, it's called Arvon P. You might have heard of it. You might have not heard of it. I don't care if you have. Don't care. Actually, yeah, I do care if you have. Um, so we we just started. We only have like what like 50 subscribers on that channel, and we really appreciate it if you watch our videos. There's going to be a little annotation right now and a little clip playing of our latest music video that we did we do like a bunch of show parodies and stuff like that guys so i'd really appreciate it if you take a look at that um and that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys i'll check you later bye yeah yeah that was kind of weird okay bye guys Woo. was that lame yeah that was lame bye everybody